Founded in 1921 in Japan, Komatsu is the world's second largest supplier of heavy equipment behind Caterpillar, with sales of 25 billion US dollars. Initially dedicated to construction, the brand drastically expanded into the surface mining industry in the late 1980s following the formation of Komatsu Dresser, a joint venture between Komatsu and Dresser Industries to produce mining trucks and related equipment. In 1994, Dresser was fully acquired by Komatsu. In 1996, Komatsu entered a joint venture with German manufacturer Demag, and one year later, in 1997, Komatsu's mining products were consolidated under the name Komatsu Mining Systems. In 1999, the Japanese giant completed its acquisition of Demag, propulsing the name as one of the top players in equipment manufacturing destined to the surface mining sector. So now that we've been through a tiny part of Komatsu's history, let's talk about some of the most important machines that helped the brand to establish itself as one of the top players in the open pit mining industry. In 1988, Dresser and Komatsu entered a partnership with one goal, joining forces to design, engineer, and manufacture trucks for the surface mining industry, booming again after a whole decade of economic downturns. So following the release of the Hallpack 830E and the completion of Komatsu's acquisition of Dresser a year earlier, the company officially launched the 930E model in 1995. With a rated capacity of 310 tons, the 930E distinguished itself by incorporating an AC electric drive motor system developed by General Electric, a technology long proven in locomotive applications. The beautiful, innovative, and beastie 930E was the first two-axle, six-tire haul truck to be offered with a payload capacity in excess of 300 short tons, making it the world's first regular production ultra-class haul truck. When it was released in the mid-1990s, Komatsu's 930E was also sitting on the world's largest pieces of rubber ever seen on an off-highway truck at the time. Known as the Superwide 5090R57, these tires were exclusively manufactured by Bridgestone and helped increasing the payload to 320 tons as the 930E-2 was unveiled in 1996. The original 930E was powered by an MTU engine rated at 2,500 flywheel horsepower, enough to move the 1 million pound truck once it was fully loaded. Absolute success on the market, the big truck quickly became a reference in the mining industry, and only a couple years after its introduction, 100 units were already active all around the world. In 2000, Komatsu debuted the 930-2SE, featuring a 3500 horsepower twin turbocharged diesel engine developed by Industrial Power Alliance, a joint venture between Komatsu and Cummins, allowing the truck to operate at elevations up to 12,000 feet without duration. Currently available in its Dash 5 version, the 930 never stopped gaining traction and remains to this day the best-selling ultra-class haul truck in the world. Over 2,300 units have been sold since 1995, making it an absolute staple in Komatsu's lineup. Long before the 930E was unveiled, Komatsu had been working on producing a bulldozer that would set new records. So in the mid-1970s, the Japanese brand put together an experimental prototype referenced as the D555A, an absolute monster with a weight of 132 tons and a power plant delivering up to 1,000 flywheel horsepower. First unveiled in 1981, the giant dozer faced a worldwide economic recession as well as low prices for raw materials, leading to little to no demand for the machine. The project was later put to rest with no hope to see it entering full production. But in the late 1980s, after the economy showed signs of recovery, Komatsu decided to revive the idea of a superdozer, and so was born the D575A Mammoth. World's largest production dozer by a mile, the D575A was delivered to early customers in 1989. Rated at 1,150 horsepower, the gigantic machine was able to push up to 90 cubic yards of material when equipped with a superdozer blade, made available as we approach the mid-1990s. Outweighing any bulldozer ever produced by any equipment manufacturer then, the 575 had an operating weight of 152 tons, or 336,000 pounds, almost 100,000 pounds more than Caterpillar's largest offering, the D11N, originally released in 1986. More than twice as heavy as two M1 Abrams tanks, the D575 progressively gained traction in the United States and in Australia but you just don't make a beast of a machine like this dozer without facing technical difficulties. 
The specific design of the 575 resulted in significant stress on the rollers and the undercarriage, leading to premature wear. While such wear is expected in active machines of this size, issues were also observed in units that remained idle for a while. The D575A also came with significant overheating issues, also leading to downtimes on the job. Costly to operate and plagued by lower than expected availability, the Komatsu Superdozer was discontinued in 2013, with no plans for a successor. But forget about the challenges. Komatsu's 575 still stands as one of the most remarkable feats of engineering ever produced by any equipment manufacturer. While only a few units remain operational today, this colossal dozer undeniably holds its place among the most iconic and fascinating mining machines ever built. At the top of Komatsu's lineup of six hydraulic mining excavators, you'll find the PC-8000, a machine with history dating back to the mid-80s when Demag introduced the H-485, a mining shovel weighing over 500 tons. At its debut, the 485 was the largest hydraulic mining excavator ever built and set the stage for the massive machines yet to come. The H-485 proved exceptionally successful in Canada's oil sands, sparking a close collaboration between Demag and KMC to create its successor, the H-685 SP. With Komatsu acquiring a stake in the German manufacturer, the H740 OS followed, a specialized version designed specifically for oil sands operations. Although the 740 was a one-of-a-kind machine, it laid the foundation for what would eventually become the PC-8000. Right after Komatsu fully acquired Demag in 1999, Komatsu Germany Mining advanced the development of the H-Series, aligning them with their smaller models and rebranding them as PC machines, short for Power Crawler. With an operating weight of 830 tons, the PC-8000 is one of the largest mining excavators available today. Powered by two 16-cylinder Cummins engines delivering over 4,000 horsepower, the machine holds 11,500 liters, or 3,000 gallons of hydraulic oil, with eight pumps pushing over 1,000 liters, or 265 gallons per minute. Its 10.5 meter long track frames carry 49 massive track shoes, distributing its weight across an 8.5 meter or 26 foot width. With a cab sitting 9 meters or 30 feet above the ground, the PC-8000 can be equipped with a bucket of 55 cubic yards in capacity, the equivalent of 42 cubic meters. In 25 years, Komatsu sold over 100 units of the machine worldwide, making it a home run for the Japanese manufacturer. But rumors are swirling about a PC-9000 currently in development. So what do you think its specs might be? On April 5, 2017, Komatsu finalized its acquisition of Joy Global, which had owned P&H mining equipment since 1994, and acquired the legendary Letourneau assets for $1.1 billion in 2011. This strategic move ultimately enabled Komatsu to place its emblem on the world's largest wheel loader. Initially introduced to market in 2000 as the L2350, the giant loader made headlines when it came out 25 years ago. Able to move 53 cubic yards or 40 cubic meters in one scoop, the 2350 is equipped with the largest tires ever manufactured, standing 13 feet tall, weighing 22,000 pounds each, and priced at over $120,000 per tire. Part of a lineup made of four mining wheel loaders, the Komatsu WE2350 is powered by a 2300 horsepower engine. It was engineered to load trucks rated between 320 and 400 tons of payload capacity. On average, a 2350 will consume up to 400,000 gallons of fuel per year, the equivalent of 1.5 million liters. Briefly renamed as the Joy P and HL2350 under Joy Global, the record-breaking loader provides an operating payload of 80 tons in standard mode and a capacity decrease to 75 tons in high lift configuration. But will we ever get to see a bigger wheel loader than this insane 2350? Well, while building a larger loader might seem feasible, the primary manufacturing challenges lie with the tires. Currently, producing anything larger than Bridgestone's 707057 tires is considered nearly impossible due to technological limitations, exorbitant development costs, and uncertain demand for machines requiring even larger tires. In less than four decades, Komatsu established itself as one of the most important actors in the mining industry. On average, the Japanese brand holds a 15% share of the global construction and mining equipment market, ranking second after Caterpillar, which holds around 